Good morning everyone, present it here. My name is Chindiga Sazanek from class 7. So today we will do English Unit 7B, the Honda Rubbish Scrubber. So let's get started. Who was a detective? Sherlock Holmes was a detective. Who was a detective Scully? Lester or the detective Scully. Who was there is mentioned in the chapter? Sir Charles Biscobals is mentioned in the chapter. Who was Sir Henry Biscobals? Sir Henry Biscobals was the nephew of the late Sir Charles Biscobals. Who were discussing in the scene one? Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Mortimer were discussing in the scene one. Who was Dr. Mortimer? Dr. Mortimer was a friend and medical attendant of the deceased. Who killed the hound finally? Stapleton killed the hound finally. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce that um, Stapleton had a hand in the death of Sir Charles? Sir Char sorry, Sherlock Holmes deduced that Stapleton had a hand in the death of Sir Charles when he looked up in a family history and discovered the existence of another higher of the family fortune who might feel wrong about the inheritance. Why did Stapleton use a legend of the hound to kill Sir Charles? Stapleton used a legend of the hound to kill Sir Charles as he had deduced enough knowledge from Dr. Mortimer about Sir Charles' weak heart. Why was Sir Henry asked to walk down a path on a moor on a lonely night? Sir Henry was asked to walk down a path on a moor to test the reason and <laughs> Legend of the dead and a hound of the biscuits. Why did Sherlock Holmes remark that the use of phosphorus on the hound's muzzle was a cunning plan? The use of phosphorus on the hound's muzzle was a cunning plan as it would be a foolproof way to create a dreadful fright, a hound with a fairy mount. When did Sherlock Holmes realize that someone was interested in the safety of Sir Henry? Sherlock Holmes realized that someone was interested in the safety of Sir Henry when the baronet contacted them. He did not observe observe any, but I did some little distance off. But fresh and clear, who speaks this word? Dr. Monimar speaks these words. What did he observe? He observed the presence of evidence of the crime. What incidents, incident is he talking about? He is talking about the death of Sir Church and the scene of death. And you, a chain man of science, believe it to be supernatural. Who is the speaker? Sherlock Holmes is the speaker. What does he call a listener? A chain man of science. He call a listener a chain man of science because Mortimer is a doctor. What did the listener believe to be natural? The listener believed a legend of the hound to be supernatural. If he isn't out in a quarter of an hour, the path will be covered. For whom are Holmes and Watson waiting? Holmes and Watson are waiting for Lestrade. What does Holmes mean by the part will cover? The part will cover means the part will cover by four. Did it aid or hinder the tax? It aided the tax. And he uses capabilities towards a sinister design. How did he come back? Who is Dr. Watson referring to? Dr. Watson is referring to Stapleton. What was the sinister design? The sinister design is to inherit the fortune with a cunning scheme. Where was he before he came back to England? He was in South America before he came to England. <coughs> Combined with Sherlock Holmes' power of deduction, how far did they help him in this case? Sherlock's ability of deduction combined with his thorough research solves a mystery. It has revealed the plot created by Stapleton. Now, valuable questions. Greed and crime go hand in hand. Explain the statement with a reference to display. Greed and crime go hand in hand. Greed drives people to use any means to achieve their ambition. So thanks for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. So thank you. Bye-bye.